some of you are familiar with the Dan Melman's work and the way of the peaceful warrior and, and Socrates. And I think when you watch that movie, it's just the same kind of take the trash out, empty the mind. It's the same stuff that we're working on. It's all the same pathway, but it's so compressed when you have a teacher-student relationship, you know, where Dan starts to work with Socrates. At first he thinks, crazy old man, and then he, he meets Joy, and who's also has an adoring relationship with Socrates, and he starts to fall in love with her. And, but it, it's so intense, and he, there's so much rebellion and so much resistance, you know. I mean, from the beginning, you know, when, when uh, he really wants to have the mind training, and so he, he agrees to meet Socrates, you know, out uh, by the bridge or whatever, and um, he's still torn between his grades and his schooling and all the self-concept things he's in, so he's, he's late, he gets there late, and then all he does when he meets his teacher is offer up all these excuses, you know, I can't make it today, and da da da, the typical things like he would do with anyone. But with the teacher, he tries it, and the teacher just throws him right in the, in the river. And that brings his anger up in a hurry. He is hopping mad and soaking wet. And, and that, those kind of things, when you're living in community or when you work with the teacher and when you give the teacher an open, direct invitation, help me, point things out to me, expose the ego, help me let go of this pride, and so on and so forth, you get an extremely accelerated uh, journey. And that movie is a good example of that. that you know, it's, it's a speed up, working with Socrates. And, and it's a tr tremendous teaching device, too. It's tremendous transformation that comes from exposing the pride at that accelerated rate. And then finally getting to a point, at one point of the movie, where, where there's a chance, a hope for a real significant transformation, like knocking off 9,000 thoughts at once with, with an ax. And, and he's so defiant and so rebellious that he goes out and he gets on his motorcycle and he just goes at high speeds, dodging in and out, paying no attention to traffic lights or anything like this, and shatters, absolutely shatters his leg. So the choice is between going for a tremendous transformation, a tremendous transformation of consciousness, or an ego guilt sabotage of shattering bones, just shattering part of your body, you know, and the mind, you can see him take that choice. Then he's got to come all the way back from all of that <laughs> to come back, just to come back to that point of humility, to come back to make that big choice again. So that's, that's important to keep in mind, you know, for, for those of you that, that are here as long-term volunteers and so forth. You're taking the road less traveled. You're, you know, you're taking the accelerated one. And that movie is just a reminder of the intensity but what you're doing it, there's a purpose behind it. There's a purpose there. The purpose is healing. The purpose is to have that transformation. And when you don't lose sight of that, then you, you, know, you don't jump out on that motorcycle in absolute rebellion, just trying to you know, throw caution to the wind, at, but, but really rebelling against the teacher. Even when he finds himself in the hospital, you know, he, he get, there's a visitation, but he's pushed that out of awareness too. The teacher is even there to, to visit him, you know, to join with him and say, you know, it's not a problem. Even this shattering thing is not, is not, cannot really hold you back. But we're faced with those kind of decisions. <laughs>